Please welcome astronaut Nora Almatrushi. Nora Almatrushi used to gaze up at the stars with dreams of flying to the moon. Now the 31-year-old has made history as the first Arab woman astronaut to graduate from NASA. Hailstorm on top of Mountain Wyoming or flying a T-38 jet, you can always count on Nora. Um, she's compassionate, she's fearless, she's always pushing boundaries and elevating the team. Nora, it's been a blast training with you. I look forward to our next adventure off planet. I think becoming an astronaut is hard regardless of what your religion or what your background is. So I don't think being a Muslim made it harder. Um, but being a Muslim made me aware of the contributions of my ancestors, of the Muslim scholars and scientists that came before me that uh, were studying the stars. And me becoming an astronaut is just building on that legacy of what they started a thousand, thousand years ago. Joining Al Matrushi in the Emirati Fellowship of Astronauts is fellow graduate Mohammed Al Mullah. Who wants to go to the moon? It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. And I'm joining. <laughs> the training was tough. I'm really proud of her that she finished all the training with us as one team. Uh, that's a really powerful message for all Emirati women. Is they are capable of doing even uh, one of the hardest jobs in the world to be an ass or not. So that's also for the future. We are living now for our next Artemis generation, but a lot of UAE astronauts will also follow us and they will be the future for humanity as we did now. Alma Trushi said NASA was very accommodating to her culture and practices. The material that goes into the EMU suit, it has to be very specific material. So the, the suit engineers ended up sewing a makeshift hijab for me to wear. Uh, I could put it on, get into the suit, and then put on the comp cap and then take it off and my hair would be covered. So I really, really appreciate them doing that for me. Al Matrushi was picked by the United Arab Emirates Space Agency to train at NASA's Johnson Space Center in 2021. Today, she's more than ready to blast off into space and make her dream come true. I want to push humanity further than it's ever been before. I want humanity to go back to the moon and I want humanity to go further beyond the moon. And I want to be part of that journey.